So, thinking about valuations to begin with, just, just very generally. So, um, why do we value things? Why do we need valuations to be done? So, uh, some of the very classic reasons, the formal valuations that we might uh, need are going to be for things like uh, company accounts, uh, inclusion in those uh, annual company accounts that are required. It could be for secured lending, so um, for commercial uh, mortgages, for loans, uh, for tax purposes, and also unit pricing. Other valuations, perhaps less formal, but needed all the less, will be to help Oopsie, sorry, uh, to help us um, uh, make decisions around buying and selling uh, property. Um, not only those transactions, but also um, helping us make decisions about holding on to properties and some of those asset management initiatives we need to consider. Um, are we going to hold on to this building? Do we need to do some refurbishment? Um, should we try and uh, mix these tenants up a bit? Uh, should we merge some units to make bigger ones? All those kinds of um, uh, thoughts. Um, evaluation is going to help us make decisions about things like that. Okay, so who who needs these valuations and who provides these valuations? Well, the people needing them are going to be, um, it could be the banks who are going to be lending on uh, properties. It could be the owners of um, properties and it's gonna be the advisors uh, to each of those groups. So uh, we might be advising uh, individual private investors uh, family companies, um, it could be huge institutional funds, um, the big pension funds, the insurance companies, people like that. The people carrying out these um, uh, valuations might be uh, your one man band, uh, a sole practitioner in a, a, a local, local town, or it could be those um, huge global real estate advisory firms, the, the, the JLLs, the Cushmans, the CBREs. Um, I, I often uh, assumed that this was all private sector work, but it isn't just the private sector that need valuations. Um, public sector um, uh, is also uh, very involved um, and, and has a, you know, holds a lot of, um, a lot of property. Okay, so how then do we do, we do these valuations? Well, um, uh, back in the day, um, it would have been uh, much more simplistic than uh, the valuations that are carried out today. Um, the, there was a lovely phrase, the back of a fag packet that used to get used a lot. The idea that it is just a very quick and dirty scribble, scribble something on a small piece of paper. Well, obviously things, things have changed. Um, and now I think more commonly valuations will be done. Some may be done on paper, um, but a lot will be done with the use of a, a computer, either on a spreadsheet or with a specific valuation software. Um, over time, even the time that I've uh, been uh, working as a surveyor, um, over that time, Valuations have become a lot more detailed, uh, a lot more information is required by um, the people needing these valuations, uh, the banks especially, um, the, um, you know, uh, the, the, the comp companies, property companies. Um, a lot more um, detail is required, a lot more evidence. Um, but along with that requirement, there has been more um, guidance. So we have quite specific guide, uh, guidance from the, uh, from the RSES, the Royal Institute Chartered Surveyors, um, who uh, provide guidance on valuations and different kinds of valuations as well, whether they're for uh, investment purposes, for purchases and sales, or whether they're for accounts. So um, the RSES does um, assist in, in guidance for those.